in this video, what we want to do is consider what we call the best buy of a certain product in terms of its price. So we want to see how, how do we actually work that out? What's the process? What's the mathematics behind it? So let's consider a situation and we're going to buy some strawberry jam. We've presented with two different ones and these from just from a catalog. So we see that we've got 475 grams of this jam at $5.43 and this one is 300 grams but it's four dollars so it's a little bit less in price but it's also less in the amount of grams that's there so what we've got to consider is that well which one's going to give us our best value for money if we're just going to consider the price now there might be other factors and you can think about those in terms of your best buy but if we're just looking at price alone what's going to give us our what's going to give us our best price so the way we want to do this so it's a little the mathematics is not too hard but you just made sure you need to get it in order so what i'm going to do i'm going to consider getting it per 100 grams so i'm going to take my five dollars 43 and i'm going to divide that by the amount of grams i've got and that's 475. so that will give me the price per one gram because i'm dividing it by the 475 there then if i go and multiply that by 100 just to give me some nicer numbers it's going to give me uh, the price that's going to be per 100 grams. So if I do that calculation, you throw that in the calculator, we get $1.14 as our price there, but that would be for 100 grams. So you could, you could have left it in terms of just doing the 5.43 divided by 475, and that would be per 1 gram. But then I'm starting to get some really in the decimal, so I'm, I'm just going to leave it like that. Whatever you want to do, you, you, you can put it to whatever amount you like. Now for this one, I'm going to do pretty much the same thing. I'm going to take my $4, and again, I'm going to divide it by 300 grams. So that's going to give me the, the amount, the price per 1 gram. But again, I'm going to make it times it by 100 just to give it a, no, a nicer number. And when I do that, my put in my calculator, do that calculation, I get $1.33, and that's for 100 grams. So when I start to compare the price, what I'm starting to see is, well, for 100 grams of this jam, we get $1.14. For 100 grams of this jam, we're going to get one, it's going to cost me $1.33. So what looked like it might have been a, a fair fight in the start at the start really isn't because this one's going to come in at a cheaper price so if i'm going for price alone i'm going to go for that price because that's giving me the cheapest price for my jam as i said remember there's other things to consider than just the price but that's how we work out our best buy when we consider price